is in effect. And the ringside position can stop the fight. Very quickly, Alex, what chance do you give Jesse Ferguson against Mike Tyson? Clearly none of the seven. One thing we should mention, Jimmy, before the action heats up too much is this is a 16 foot ring, very much to Tyson's liking. Starting out, going to the body, a couple of those punches appeared low. Counter with left hook. be an inadvisable strategy. Not be an inadvisable strategy. Same kind of opponent here in Ferguson who's not giving him very many punching opportunities. He's taking a lot of punishment, but he's throwing a lot. He is not breathing heavily. He looks pretty in pretty good shape at this point. You would find almost no one in the arena believed before this began that it would go to a decision. Before this began go to a decision. I think he respects, respects Ferguson, respects, respects Ferguson. Tyson is invited. And there was an uppercut. What a shot. There's the punch. Terrific uppercut. The opponent seeing the punch, and those are the punches that do the most damage. There it is. Never saw it coming. Starts and he has set the pace right up right from the word go. Mike Tyson is a finisher. He's established that early in his career. He started the fight. A fourth round KO. Fourth round KO. 11 months. Ken, he has a long, long road ahead of him. He is a young, strong kid. Keep uh, Tyson off balance and don't lay on those ropes and let him get set up for those wicked punches he throws. For those wicked punches he throws. It's connecting very well, though, with some good body shots. Figures to be the next heavyweight champion of the world. Tyson. He's Sorry, after him. And that's the end of round. A lot of the. Uh, so to speak, boxing experts are, are wondering now what happens when this young kid what happens when this young kid has the huge neck, 19 and three quarter inches. Tyson the strong left to Jameson. And he is just pushing this big guy all over the ring, pushing him away. Combination of five and six punches. But Mike Tyson does it. Yeah. Judges' decision. Now. There's some good punches here. They see the Mike Tyson boxing world here in the first month of 1986. They're hungry for a new heavyweight, for someone who is as aggressive as Mike Tyson. Little tricks. 
Mike Tyson takes two steps forward. Let's go with a couple of lefts. Now a right, a left. He's got him down. Mike Tyson sends Mike Jamison to the mat. Here we have the knockdown, Ken. You see the explosive punches he pulls. A flurry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight punches. You don't see Jameson that. Jamison is doing at this point what I think he should have been doing from the first oh, He just took a... What I think he should have been doing from the first oh. He just took a right. He just took a right He's hand down. To the top of the head. Down to one knee. Jameson. Joe Cortez, the referee with a count. And Jameson. Jameson wants to continue. Referee Joe Cortez says no. Jameson says he wants to go on. But the referee. Trunks in the gloves and he's ready to go to war. Not even survive the first round. And he almost looked disgusted that Zowski looked ready to fall. What a body shot with the left hand right behind that. His jab is just an awesome weapon. It's just an awesome weapon. But his body punching is one of the most awesome body punching heavyweights I've seen in years. Mike Perkins, Benny Knossi, but he's never been in there with Mike Tyson. Off him again. Solid right hand to the body by Tyson. Tyson looking to measure his man with body shots. Zowski moving, trying to keep Tyson off balance. But the best thing Zowski could do is still stepping down. Tyson comes out, and we're heading to the bell. Come on. Come on. Power in the right hand. Tyson is not one of them. Tyson just committed to body work. On the left really? eye of Steve Zowski, who is now taking the best Tyson has to offer. And you know that this guy is going to feel it after the fight. Right hand's coming in. And a left hook. with a solid combination of about six flows. Zowski. Solid right hand to the body by Mike Tyson, who looks to be just getting some real heavy live sparring in there. Got Zowski in big trouble against the rope, but Tyson lays back. Tyson, Tyson is delivering the left jab and following with the right. He is not running away from Tyson, and Tyson goes to work on the body. Opponents, no doubt, a sign of the respect that he must have for a fighter of Phyllis. There's the punch that, in my opinion, is going to win the fight for Tyson. It's that right hand to the body. Just one punch. It's clear that. It's clear that. Tillis does have a tendency one way is to say that uh, he's pacing himself. Uh, he's pacing himself. He's waiting for the opening. The other way is to say that he's getting frustrated and getting taken out. He did not have the proper range for full power. For full power. Two good short chopping right hands by Tillis. Tyson waiting for Tyson waiting for Tillis to open up. And those two body punches did get Tillis' attention. Not only Jesse ran. Ferguson, that look at the hand speed by Tyson. That's one it's of an things. important learning experience for Mike Tyson. He's going to have to be able to handle a quick Tillis to get to He's going to have to be able to handle a quick Tillis to get to the top. Even he is right now. Tillis. And Tillis is making the mistake of trying no, to no, trade no, no, with no. Mike Tyson. He should be moving off the ropes. It's Round three coming to a close. And Mike Tyson warms to the task once again as the round comes to a close. And Mike Tyson. Cut. Sure. Tough young bull, and he's fought harder. It will be interesting to see how Mike reacts to this. Closing with a flurry. The bell is going to sound. Yeah, Round number one, scheduled six, but hold on to your hats. Nobody thinks it's going to go that far. Well, up there he goes. He's just going to pull his way in. Those rights to the body. Left jab, right to the heart. Quickly want to point out, first fight for Michael Jack Johnson in two years. I'm glad you pointed it out because down he goes. The left hook. It was a right hand. Left. It was a right hand. Right there. No, we didn't see it yet. I'm well, sorry. Here it comes. There's the left There's hook. There's the hook to the body. He, and he missed, missed the, right. With the right. Yeah. It was just the left hook, and he has so much power in that left. 
I mean, that's the kind that breaks ribs, folks. That was a left hook to the liver. <laughs> and Lorenzo Boyd has done what 14 others down in the first round. Again to the body. Boyd trying to answer back. Body shots very effective for Tyson thus far. Come on to become a fighter, and then uh, he's gone full time. He's also taking criminal law courses at Oklahoma State. Right now, he backs off from a sharp right uppercut to the body by Tyson. Again, a double right hand to the body and the chin. Down goes Lorenzo Boy. The count is five. And here it comes. There was a hard left hand. He didn't get full extension on it. Then, right hand to the body, just like that. Upstairs oh, with a right uppercut. Oh. Good night. Wow, and Lorenzo Boyd saying, what hit me? Watch the side of Lorenzo Boyd's body. You think the body shots of Tyson, I mean, the body just about collapses in there. But now it does not look that way. The startling hand quick, the startling hand quick. Well, here we go. Good left by Tyson. The Tony said he would bring. You've got to fight with Mike Tyson, but then you give him a chance to do his. Get some respect from Mike Tyson. 30 seconds left in the round. So that barrier of the ref separates them. Good right up a gut. And once again, the legs twitch. Jose are in trouble. And down. The right side of the rib cage. Instead, he goes to the body downstairs. And on his way to becoming one of the youngest heavyweight champions of all time. Bangs the body. Wow, with that uppercut is Tyson. Catches him with a leg left foot. And he goes down. And watch Tyson jump right into his chest. <laughs> Michael Spinks. Tyson not afraid, as we expected, and Spinks ready to mix it up with him. Tyson along the ropes doing damage. Michael Spinks has to keep moving. Oh, Uppercut landed inside, and Spinks went down. I was surprised there was a body shot that put him to the canvas, and that is the first time Michael Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. And he's down again, and in serious trouble. A right hand right on the chin. This will last the round, especially with those 224 pounds. Four pounds. Staying inside. We'll see what happens when he gets hit, though. Ronnie punches. There's a shot by Mike Tyson with the left. Hits the guy. Almost shorter. He's done that. And he is halfway. Tyson misses again with the left. From the now south south the left. Then he comes with the right. Both of them trading now. Counter punch. There's a body blow. Well, every punch tomorrow. Oh! a lot of big shots. Big seven punch combinations. Behind the jab. Whoa. Frank Cappuccino. Right footed pivot. Swing around on your opponent's side and then crush. Strength is going to be a factor here too. We'll get it later. This will be a real attrition battle. And Holyfield is disorganizing Tyson. He's keeping him out of his attack. And good. Tyson. Unleashing uppercuts to the body, digging to the chain. It's this is how he hurts his opponent. Look at that right hand. And then up in the, look at the leverage to bend in his leg. Box for the first four rounds. But that's a big left hook. You get it done. If Andrew's zeroing in on a big shot. Tyson is confused. Fuck. On a big shot. Tyson is Getting to the point where he, either he gets a knockout or he's going to win this fight. A right hook followed by a left by Holyfield. And countering with a combination is... Mike Tyson, that, let's, see if he, go. let's see if he works in behind the jab, Steve. That's key. It's one of the keys he's talked about working on. And Francis going right at Mike Tyson. Well, so maybe Mike wants to take it and work a couple rounds. Digging body shots by body shots by Mike Tyson. Finish. That's a lot more than most people thought. That left hook to the body hurts, Steve. He could be in trouble right here. He's stunned and down he goes. Vintage, Mike Tyson. Vintage stuff. 
the right uppercut on the inside was a nice left hook in here in the body and then it comes up on the, with another one then there's a right uppercut left hook to the body though that was the killer that's what really hurt that was the first one that was the second one here comes the uppercut right on the butt again he staggers francis tough body shot francis oh, is down right hand time. right hand to the top of the head steve in the round two He's been down three times. Oh, he's got in trouble. He's going to head in. Makes a few. How much more punishment? One, There's a left uppercut. And Tyson goes right to work. Body shots. And Mike, has no let up in him. He's just unloading everything. All body right now. And as usual, with bad intentions, going to the body and the head now. Mike Tyson going right to the body, working his way in on the jab. Right hand to the body. Trying to dig the uppercuts and hooks in on both sides and eventually comes up top with a few uppercuts. But he stays almost exclusively to the body in that first sequence for about 30 to 40 seconds. Oh, the end of the second. Combination yeah. Nielsen on the retreat. Big right hand to the head by Tyson. Followed up by a left uppercut. Nice punching through the gloves a lot. A soft left hook there by Nielsen. And he continues to dig to the body. Then a left uppercut to the chin, Tyson. Hard body shots. Then upstairs. Nielsen just pushing Tyson. Oh. Defiant. Brian Nielsen enters into round three. The left eye was cut. Oh, quick combination of the head. And down goes Nielsen. The longer goes, the better his chances are. But he's losing every round big. Oh, a body shot with the right hand. Nielsen looking to make it to the bell. Low blow there, Steve. A low blow, and Brian Nielsen doubled over. Oh, brother, as he goes down to his knees right in front of us. See my nigga fucking in the stall. Don't even know the name, shit, he met her at the mall. Know that I'll be back in a minute just to see that you ain't never really try to fucking call. Fuck it, I said, 